Welcome guys, Adam here, Blackfire Productions. Welcome back to another episode of World War Marvel. As you know, I'm your channel host, and today I'm joined by Sean. How are you, sir? Good. Welcome back to another game of Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, we have already rolled off for priority, and Sean has it. Yep. You rolled one success or two successes? I, I rolled one, I but either way. Two, either two, way, you got it. Um, <laughs> you went with Secures for this one, ended up drawing Mutant Madman, turned City Center into a Lethal Amusement Park. Uh, so you placed four traps using map B. And then you score one victory point for each trap that you are um, controlling uh, in the cleanup phase. Uh, when you interact with it, you roll uh, your physical defense. And then you need to get more hits, crits, or wilds than number of healthy contesting enemy care. Excuse me, enemy characters uh, that are uh, contesting the objective as well. Um, and then during the cleanup phase, uh, uh, each player controlling a trap chooses an enemy character within range two of their trap. That character suffers one point of damage and gains one power. So, yeah. okay. And then uh, resolve each trap completely before moving on to the next. I was the extractions, ended up drawing hammers. I don't know if I want to draw hammers in this one. Mm. So, uh, so it's map D, uh, you get one victory point for each hammer that you have. Uh, if you have a hammer, adds one die to your attack rolls for each celestial hammer. But it also means that you have to spend an additional power for each power. hammer that you have. Ability, so, yeah. For each tactic card that you play. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, tactic cards. Or is it... Taxis cards. It's every tactic, every hammer that you have adds it, one additional power to your tactics cards that you play. Play. I thought it was yeah. also your abilities or special. No, nope, just team powers. tactics cards. So uh, yeah, so okay. it should be interesting. Should be interesting. Yeah. Um, before we get into this match, gotta give a big shout out to Torchlight Games and Hobbies out of Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Uh, you can check their web store out in the link of the description of the description of the video down below. Also, while you're there, if you like the content that I'm producing here on Blackfire Productions, you can support the channel through our Patreon page. Uh, so check that out as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's show you the board, show you the teams that we're playing with today, and get right into the match from there. So here we are with my team for today, uh, using Brotherhood, but deciding to go with Mystique. Um, because, well, I wanted to try her out with Rogue thematically, and I got Juggernaut, Quicksilver, and Deadpool. Um, her leadership is not quite as good as Magneto's. I probably could have brought Magneto in this uh, uh, list as well, but uh, this is what I'm using. Um, I was thinking that I would be able to use Mystique's leadership with the second ability when you interact with Secure Objective Token, but this one is Securing, not Controlling. Or is it Controlling, not Securing? Well, either way. Yeah, so uh, this one is Controlling, not Securing. So uh, her leadership does not take effect. Um, but the other characters I have currently in my Brotherhood list, uh, Magneto, Bob, Scarlet Witch, Toad, uh, Beast and Deadpool uh, are the other five, and then the tactics cards that I have, uh, Asteroid M, or sorry, the ones that I'm using, I should say, uh, Deception, Exceptional Healing, Asteroid M, Blind Obsession, and Can I Borrow That? Uh, for the other tactics cards I have, uh, Bitter Rivals, um, Magnetic Refraction, uh, difficult to please, field dressing, climbing gear are the other uh, five tactics cards that I could bring. Uh, so I have hammers, uh, obviously as the extraction, the other two are deadly legacy virus and research station intact. And then uh, for my secures, I went with Gamma Waves, Mutant Madman, and Demons Downtown. So that is my roster and team for today's match at 18th threat because both scenarios are that. And we have Sean's Dark Dimension at 18th threat coming in with Dormammu, uh, Hawkeye, Wong and Scarlet Witch. Tax cards that he's using are going to be Dark Restoration, Dark Empowerment, Smash, Whims of Chaos, which will cancel off a superpower when used within three of you, I believe. Um, or no, that's no. that's No More Mutants. This one is uh, choose one non-dazed character within three, so you can spend any number of power to do this. And then each chosen allied character within one removes a point of damage or one special condition. And each uh, chosen enemy character gains either Hex Root or Incinerate. Uh, field dressing for um, some bringing some people back to life and stuff like that as well. So yeah. that is Sean's 
team for today. Here we are with the board. We are using Battle Kiwi's uh, Battle Board. Um, I got a whole bunch of O scale terrain on here. Uh, the buildings are size five, truck size three. Uh, there's two trucks, one there and one there. Size three for the Daily Bugle over there. We got a park over here now. I uh, finally actually finished painting those up, uh, part of the Battle Boards as well. Uh, originally, I was going to have a gazebo in here, um, but because the hammer sits perfectly underneath it. It just makes it really hard to actually uh, play and interact with it because it's perfectly would sit in that circular area there. Um, so yeah, we got the trees, which are size two, cars are size two, um, and then just the three size three pieces. We got a uh, trap there, trap there, trap there, and then another trap just on the other side of that truck down there. Uh, we got a hammer here, hammer over there, and a hammer over there, and also a hammer down there as well. Um, so yeah, that is the board. We also have a subway station now uh, for this uh, ski board. So a couple of new tiles that I finished up after having these for a while. Uh, just thought with getting a new static grass applicator, uh, I thought I would try it out on that. So yeah, that is uh, that. Well, uh, Sean's deploying on that side. I will deploy on this side. We'll come back after. Here we are with deployment. I plays Quicksilver Rogue over there, Mystique and Juggernaut right there. And then I also placed uh, Deadpool over on that side. Very cool, very, very cool. Where uh, Sean has Hawkeye there, Wong there, and then Scarlet Witch and um, Dormammu over there from the Dark Dimension. So we'll come back with round one next. Dormammu's gonna go first. Uh, so you can't end it on that truck, unfortunately, because the base will be bigger than it. Not that it's gonna stop you much, but uh, yeah. There, yeah. In range of that, so he's gonna spend one power to redirect it. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're talking about of the um, yeah, the mutant madman or the uh, trap over there. The trap over there. Let's see what you get. He's got four power. Yeah, he has four physical defense. You get it. Get you it. get it. And I don't think there's anything from skulls or failures on this one either. So you get it. It's yours. And then Dormammu is also moving up again. Yep. He's really coming up there. Coming up there. Okay. And he will spend his last power to pick, pick up that hammer. Hammer. I like it. Well, seeing as how Dormammu wants to come up here and and play with the big boys, the big boys are going to come out and play. So Mystique's gonna come and move over here, put herself within range four of Dormammu. Um, at least that's the idea. Boom, if I need to, I'll move over more instead of out towards the tree coming over here. So I, I will, I'll have to move over more, but I'll get there. Now being within four, uh, so I just took one move instead of going more up this way, I've uh, went on an angle over uh, underneath that tree. Um, and being within range four of Dormammu, I'm gonna play Deception on him, which Deception is played by Mystique. Uh, choose an enemy character within range four of this character. Uh, if there are no other non daze characters within two, I can advance in speed. So I'm gonna move Dormammu towards me. Uh -huh. After placing Deception, I placed him just outside of one of the objectives there, um, but within basically threatened range of everybody else because I'm gonna come up there and just start beating on him, I think is what I want to do because mm. he's a threat and I don't like him. But before that, I'm gonna end off Mystique's go with a pistol shot into Dormammu. Here we go with the dice roll from Mystique for pistol shots into Dormammu. Uh, that is three going into you, sir, with your physical uh, defense of four. And I do have rapid fire with that as well, so I'll gain two power as well automatically. Blocking none. So that is three damage on you. Uh, I think the skulls only affect your attack rolls as well. Second shot now. Pistols into, um, into Dormammu. Two. Only two. Because of rapid fire. You're blocking it. Oh my gosh, you're blocking it. Mm -hmm. That's a waste of crits, yep. but that's okay. Going with Wong next. Interesting. Sending Wong up the board. Probably trying to give some healing to Dormammu next turn. Basically. Yeah. And taking two move actions to get Wong uh, behind the truck and within uh, range to heal next turn Dormammu. 
Mm. Okay. Quicksilver is going to go next. Uh, he does have wall crawler, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a move action just to move on top of this. Something like that. He has a long move, so he has plenty of yeah. movement. Um, he's going to spend a power to interact with that and see if I get it. Uh, I do get it with a hit and a crit. And then now I get to do my attack into you as well. Um, I'm going to do my supersonic strike for four dice into Dormammu. This feels so bad. Four dice attacks left, right, and center. Here we go. One. And no special abilities or anything like that. Block. You block it for days. Yep. That's what he needs. Goes over to Sean again. Sean, what are you doing, sir? I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Juggernaut next. I think. Starting off Juggernaut here, he's going to spend a power to interact with a hammer, pick it up. Um, but because I'm using Mystique as my leader, once per turn after an allied character interacts with an extract token, after all effects are resolved, the allied character gains one power. So he spends that power just to gain it back. Uh, then he's going to take a short move, which will gain him to more power as well. So the short move from here, um, unstoppable mo momentum procs off, which uh, gives him uh, two power. And then I'm spending the three power that he has now for unstoppable momentum. Um, I'm gonna just go and collide with uh, outrunning into, without running into um, Mystique. So I'll come over here and collide with this. And go through it and then collide with um so you destroy it i destroy that train piece yeah and then he continues going through because it's not size three or higher or, or higher than three okay. i should say um but then he also causes a point of damage for the collision on dormammu as well okay, okay. now doing my strike into dormammu nine dice because of the um Nothing, sorry, unstoppable momentum, and the hammer as well. So nine dice, physical. So let's see what I get there. Uh, that is a lot, currently. So take these out, take that out. So that's three crits, two hits, that's five going into you so far. Mm -hmm. And then I get uh, three crits as well. So let's see what those give me. So that's two more. So that's uh, seven going into you, sir, seven. Blocking one. one. So you take six. I think that should daze you as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you be dazed. And with d that, Dormammu is dazed, doing six more damage to him. Um, yeah. So uh, he drops a hammer, and Juggernaut's going to spend a power to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And that is Juggernaut's go. Scarlet Witch is next. Mm hmm. Take that hammer back. I get it. And moving uh, just within one of the hammer there, spending power obviously to pick it up. Pick it up. Yep. And then uh, should be in range four probably of, of yeah. Juggernaut at that where he is right now. Yeah. Just barely, but definitely there. Definitely there. Now doing your hex bolt, I think it's called right hex bolt uh, into Juggernaut. Uh, I will have five defense versus this, and you have. Seven attack dice because of your hammer and a six base. Uh, so let's see what you get. Well, those skulls are really good for you. That's five. Five successes. Let's see what I get. I'm blocking one. Uh, so that's going to be a four damage. I'll spend a power uh, to reduce it again. So it's three damage on Juggernaut. Uh, but okay. you do get to give him some status conditions with those skulls. And giving Juggernaut Hex, Incinerate, and Poison uh, after her Hex Bolt shot into him. Uh, he did take three points of damage, uh, re normally four, but reduced it, spending his nice punch uh, superpower. Deadpool's going next for me, and Deadpool, what he's going to do is take two move actions to uh, come here, and then another one just to be within one uh, back there and spends power to pick that up because his first power is spent on interacting with an extraction. He gets that power back at the end of this uh, interaction with it. So, But that is it for Deadpool. Hawkeye's up next. Going up. My best chance is to basically just try to take <laughs> yeah, 100%. characters at this point. Yeah, hook arrowing up, spending his two power. Yep. Yeah. And then next he's just going to do his attack. Yeah, 100%. Into 
into Deadpool there. Deadpool. I like it. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's physical or energy because he's threes on both. So here we go with your arrow shot into Deadpool. Let's see what you get, sir. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Let's see what you get on your next one then. Yeah, I'm assuming nice you're gonna do the next yeah, one. Next yeah. One. That's better. That's yeah, three. That's a little better. Not enough to take Deadpool out. No. Deadpool blocks two. two. I know karate. Uh, that is nothing. So he will take one. Damage. Spending that one power you got from Hawkeye to interact with the trap. Uh, so it's physical. Physical. Oh, this one is physical. So roll four. Yep. Uh, you got it. It is yours. Rogue here is going to move, take a move action, and just hide behind this building, because uh, that's what Rogue does. Mm -hmm. And that's it for Rogue. Round one, I am scoring four victory points to Sean's three victory points. We're going to go in round two next. Round two, uh, in the power phase, I think it is. Uh, beginning of the activation phase, sorry. Uh, Mystique, who is underneath this tree, uh, is spending three of her four power to play Blind Obsession onto Dormammu. Dormammu is going first, doing Shadow Bolt into Juggernaut. Let's see what you get, sir. Let's see what you get. That's a lot. That is a heck of a lot. That is uh, currently sitting at uh, six with two crits. Uh, seven. Juggernaut says he's gonna block none, so you're gonna daze him. Uh, you do sap one of his powers mm. from your Shadow Bolt, so you gain a power from that. And then I think you only get one power from that attack as well. So, uh, Juggernaut will gain, uh, five power from all of that damage, and then drop two hammers as well. Getting two power now from Dormammu after dazing Juggernaut to pick up those hammers. hammers. Yep. I like it. We're doing a Shadow Bolt up against Hawk or uh, Quicksilver up here. Ever? Yeah, I got uh, three defense across the board. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it becomes eight dice now. Whoa! Really good. Let's see what you get. Wowzers. Uh, that's, well, that's not terrible. Yeah. He's draining two of his power, so he's out of power, which is good. But you get four plus your crit. So five, and Quicksilver says he's blocking two. Two, so you'll take three points of damage from that. And jumping with uh, Dormammu now, back to some protection. I like it. I just threw the car away. Wait. That's right, that's right. Too many can't lift a car. <laughs> right? Deadpool is gonna be going next for me. I'm gonna do a bang action into Hawkeye. I am within three, so you cannot use your uh, ability to shoot me first. Mm. Uh, it's five dice now because they do have a hammer. So let's see what I get. I get one. I do have a I know karate, and it is a hit. So uh, energy or physical? This is physical, sir. So you got four. Block uh, I block it. Uh, I do have uh, I know karate. No. So uh, gonna do that again. So here we go. Huh. Man, I know karate. Uh, just one again. So that is it for Deadpool. Uh, well, you got to roll your second thing for physical defense. Blocking it again. So spending two power now to do hook shot. I like it. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. Moving over there. Up there within one inch. Yep. And then being able to uh, interact with that as well. Deadpool now with Hawkeye and your arrow shot. Let's see what you get. Let's see if you actually do anything. One. Deadpool says he blocks it. Okay. Okay, he's going to try that again. Uh, of course. You got one, one, which is a crit. It's a crit. One. One. Okay. Deadpool says... Zedpool says he blocks it, so nothing. And no status conditions either. So. Spending two power now from Quicksilver, I'm going to activate him next. Uh, he is going to move uh, with Speedster over here. Uh, that I want to be within three of a couple of people. I cannot get within three of her, though. I'm going to be... Uh, I'm probably just going to be out. So even if I go out like that, I think. But... So he'll just come back here, uh, and then he's going to do his supersonic strike into Wong, who's now within range two, so won't gain any cover from that. Actually, I don't even think I can see you because it's size three truck. Yeah, it's size three truck. Uh, I might just have to move onto the truck then instead. Just onto the truck instead. 
for it. I'll have to come over this way instead um, on an angle. I don't think I get anybody else actually in range. Oh, I do get actually. Okay, so I got three people in range now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do a supersonic strike into Wall. Okay, I can see you, but you will now have cover. So here we go. Uh, so that's a hit, block, and wild. Does that give me anything? That gives me uh, velocity, which gives me another attack with my uh, with this as well. So really good. Wong's defense roll. Block uh, blocking two because of cover. Yeah. But I get another velocity. So now I'm going to go into Scarlet Witch with velocity. There we go. Uh, so that's two going into Scarlet Witch as well. And I got a hit and a block, which gives me nothing. Block and none. So he'll gain two power. All right. And then uh, I will do that again into Wong. And she'll cast this. Okay. This. Spending two power to play, can I borrow that from um, Quicksilver as well? Uh, so what that does is after an attack made by an ally allied character, or by an allied Quicksilver, this uh, that damaged an enemy character holding an asset token, which the hammers are, Quicksilver may spend two power to play this card, move one asset token from the target character to Quicksilver. He picks up it, now holding that token. So uh, I will take Scarlet Witch's hammer. Now giving, uh, because I damaged Quicksil uh, Scarlet Witch, you're also judging her, uh, him. Is it called Judgment? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Um, I think. Or Curse. Curse, curse is what it's called. So uh, yeah. So he will not receive power from damage from enemy effects now. Um, but my second action now is going to be a, uh, it's going to be another velocity or supersonic strike into Wong this time again. Here we go into Wong with the supersonic strike. Uh, that is uh, three going into him and I do get my nether velocity attack there because of the hit and the wild. Blocking none, so you'll take two points of damage. Take two points of damage. Yep. Now doing the velocity strike into uh, into Scarlet Witch. Let's see what I can do there. That is two. That's two going into you. Yep. Yeah. Here we go with the block. block. Block one. Block one, so you'll take one. Activating Wong next. He is going to spend one action to yeah. two, right? Uh, it is an action, and I think it costs. Are you doing Vishtani's Blessing? Mm -hmm. Healing. Yeah, Vishtani's Blessing is one. One. Yeah. And you're healing uh, Quix, uh, Scarlet Witch? Yep. Sounds good. Two. Yep. Now, given a power to Scarlet Witch, uh, is that it? So you healed her, used uh, with Vishtani's Blessing in an action, and then did Faithful Assistant to also and give her a power passion. as well. Uh, no, Faithful Assistant is not an action. Oh, it's not an action. No. His other thing is... Uh, yeah, where you meditate to gain a power back. Meditate. Yeah. Gonna be a rogue next for me after uh, we have... After Sean's go. Um, so I'm gonna go with her, and she's just gonna fly to the other side of this building. I'm gonna charge with the rogue now. Um, I'm actually gonna bring her up this way, straight up. Yeah. Okay, so I can end within one of that um, back piece, right? Bam. Uh, but also be able to strike Wong. So I'll do my strike into Wong first. Uh, what's your lower defense? I guess it's two on physical. So uh, this will be a physical strike. Wilds will sap power from you. And then I also gain power equals the damage dealt. So I do sap one power from you and have three damage coming in on Wong as well. Bump Lock in one. one, so you'll take two. Take two and that will daze him. That will daze him, yep. Uh, I'll spend a power to take that trap, hopefully. And that is the hope. So, uh, physical defense. I do take it. It is my trap. Now doing mutant absorption onto Dormammu. Rolling five dice. Let's see how many crits, hits, and wilds I can get. Uh, that's two, so I drain two power out of Dormammu. Scarlet Witch is moving. Yeah. Should be able to get within range three of uh, Mystique there. Yeah, I don't want to get completely... Well, you got to be within three because she has stealth. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't want to go up too far. Yeah, so of course. I just want to make sure I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, within three is basically what you want to be. Doing a hex bolt now into Mystique. It's going to be six dice versus my one because I have blind obsession. So... Yeah. 
That is three. That's three. Uh, you don't even get any status conditions on me or anything. So I block one, so she'll take two. Now spending three power to throw this truck from a Scarlet Witch into Quicksilver. Uh, Quicksilver is going to try to dodge that. I like that so far. I don't like that. I can reroll two dice because of my dodge. Uh, supersonic reflexes, yes. Here we go, two dice rerolled. I needed to make one of those. Uh, he is knocked out, or dazed, I should say. Picking up the hammer that uh, Quicksilver dropped. Sounds like a plan. Well, going over to me now, Mystique's just gonna fire back into, um, into Scarlet Witch. I'm just gonna try to take her out, I think. Uh, I want to take out Dormammu, but that's not gonna happen this turn. So uh, into Scarlet Witch it goes with a pistol shot. Here we go. Uh, that is two, that is three going into Scarlet Witch. It is physical, and you cannot use any reactive superpowers or cards this turn. Why not? Because it's part of uh, Mystique's thing. Three. Here we go with your defense roll. Block and none. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I'll take power for that. And then I get my rapid fire going off into you. Yeah. And you have one damage left, right? Damage left. Okay, here we go. Rapid fire time. That's two crits. That's three going into you again. I'll take another power as well from that. So it's two power in total. So I'll take one off a card and add a three on there. Okay, so you're stopping power? No, no, no. I was just from the power that I gained Blocking automatically. One. Yeah. Blocking one, so you are dazed, sir. Then for the second action, what I'm going to do is just move uh, Mystique over here. Just within one of that, so I'm just outside of three mm -hmm. of uh, Dormammu, and she'll spend a power to interact with that, pick it up, and gain that power back as well. Uh, and that will be her go, I think, at this point. Clean up phase of round two. Um, I get four victory points going up to eight. You get three going up to six. Um, we do get to interact with the trap over here. I don't know if, if Dormammu is within two of it, but if it, if it, uh, it's not going to be. Okay, so, uh, and I'm not within two of your trap back there either, and nobody's within two of that trap. So that does not proct, um, but yeah, we'll come back with round three next. Uh, you are spending three power, or four power, sorry, from Wanda, correct? Wanda, yep. Uh, and you're playing Whims of Chaos and putting a hex on uh, Mystique, Juggernaut, and um, Quicksilver over there. Rogue is just outside of three from her, yeah. so uh, was not able to be in range. Uh, but the fourth power is spent to take the damage off of Scarlet Witch. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Your mom is going to be your next activation doing a Shadow Bolt into Rogue. Uh, it is six dice normally, turns into eight yep. uh, because we have two hammers. Two hammers. So uh, I get three energy defense. So let's see what you get with your eight dice. A lot. That is a lot. That's two crits. All right. I think that's eight damage. Yep. Eight damage so far. Can Rogue block any of this? Let me see. Rogue blocks two, but that is not enough. You still take her out. Uh, because that skull would turn that up into uh, nine. That takes it down to seven minus one. So she takes six damage and is knocked out, or dazed. Not doing your incantation of obliteration into Juggernaut. It's 10 dice versus my two mystic defense now due to the fact that I don't have my helmet anymore. Uh, so let's see what you get. Uh, that is... Decent, that is uh, six with two crits. And Seven with two crits. So let's see what your skulls get you. Uh, so that's nine. Does Juggernaut go down? Uh, he blocks one, that brings it down to eight. You can't re roll. No, no, but I can spend a power to reduce it to seven because of nice punch. Okay. So, yeah. So he takes seven damage. And uh, so Juggernaut is still kicking with one damage left. Um, but your incantation does proc into somebody else within range two. Mm -hmm. um, so the only target that you can get, because I'm outside of range three uh, with Mystique uh, from Dormammu, is Quicksilver. Okay? Quicksilver. Yeah. Here we go with the attack roll against Quicksilver. Let's see what you get. What are we doing? Oh, I just got to count because I think yeah. I grabbed some of your dice. Maybe. You got ten dice. That's all you need to roll right now. Yeah. So you could have, you could have. Yep, all 
Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I think you also... You don't have... Oh, you do. I do. Does it proc again, uh, Probably, yeah. If you, if you have everything you need, which I think you do, actually. I'd have to double check. Quicksilver is blocking none, so he, he just is obliterated. Uh, so you can't actually measure from him because he's dead. So that is Quicksilver gone. You would have proc'd this again, but because he is actually removed once the damage is applied to him, um, because you got way more than uh, five damage, yeah. um, he's not there to measure within range two of that anymore, which means that you don't actually get to bounce that incantation of obliteration off to somebody else, which would have been back into Juggernaut, and you would have just taken him as well. So uh, guess who's going next for me? Yeah. It's gonna be Juggernaut. Juggernaut's gonna go next before he dies. He's gonna move, and he's just gonna move up here. Uh, then he's going to do his, uh, I think he's gonna do his big attack now, which is going to be a, uh, I'm the Juggernaut. Uh, yeah, and let's see what I get. Go with the I am the Juggernaut. My crits won't explode because I am hexed. Huh. That's still not terrible. That is uh, five going into you. Okay, five going into you. Yeah. Locking none. So you'll take five points of damage from that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's uh, four power to do that. Um, I'm then now going to spend three power to pick up the truck and throw it at Dormammu as well. Pushing me back short. And then I think I get like the hex or something like that. You get hex, but you're well, I already hex. have hex, so he's just going to get pushed back until he collides with that. Um, which means that I'll just have to spend my power for my rush and then spend the power for the, uh, the throw. So three and three. So uh, yeah, he will come back up here. Where do I want to go, actually? Do I want to... Do Can I collide with you? I can't. I think I'm just out. Yeah. So he's going to go there. And then uh, just throw the truck. Actually, I might as well just come over this way and collide over this way instead. And then throw the truck into Dormammu. So Scarlet Witch will take a point of damage from the... Um, so I, you can pay that twice? I only did it once. I moved the first time. Yeah. I played it once for the... When you pushed me back. Hmm. So spending three power to do the uh, nothing stops a juggernaut, colliding with uh, Scarlet Witch, dealing her point of damage. You're going to spend two then to do curse on him curse. And, and judge him. And I'm going to spend three power to throw the truck into uh, Dormammu as well. Here we go with the truck into Dormammu. It is physical. Uh, I block in two, so you'll take two. Take two. Yeah. And that is going to be juggernaut's action. He is done. All right. Uh, we got... Uh, Scarlet Witch over here, what's she doing? She is picking up this light post. Okay. And she is throwing it at... Juggernaut? Juggernaut. Oh man. One damage. Right? Can Juggernaut block it? He doesn't block anything. Doesn't block a single thing. He is a knocked out. Dark Empowerment now, targeting Dormammu, so from um, Scarlet Witch. So the next time she does an attack, this action, her next attack, if it causes damage, Dormammu will gain the power from that. Because he's sitting on one power and it's not liking that, so... No. Doing a hex bolt now into Mystique, I'm assuming. Yep. Four. Okay. So well, let's see what hex. you get. Into Mystique. Yep. She is blind obsessed. Oh. One. One. Mystique says I block no. it. No damage. So that does not proc. That does not proc. No. Doing another hex bolt now into uh, Mystique. Two. Two. This time. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Three. Three. That is all you needed. Blocking none, uh, so you ta do take her out. She is dazed. Right. Do drop a hammer, and you should be within uh, one of that to easily be able to pick that up. Pick it up. Yep. Definitely. Sounds good. Pick it up. Yep. Hawkeye over here, or uh, Deadpool over here will be my next activation. Uh, gonna be doing a stab into Hawkeye, I think. Yeah, stab into Hawkeye. It's six dice physical, sir. Okay, six dice because I have a hammer. Mm -hmm. Huah! I got two, but I got I Know Karate to be able to reroll one of those four. I'm blocking one. Blocking one. So my reroll is none. So you'll take one. I'll take one damage. That's it. So after doing one damage to him, gaining power from that, um, I'm going to do the poke into Hawkeye. It's seven dice now because of the hammer. So uh, let's see what I can get with that. Mm -hmm. Seven dice. Hawkeye, go down. 
Yes. That guy's probably gonna go down. Uh, yes, that is uh, seven going into you. Seven. Blocking two. Blocking two. You do have a crit. You have a crit. Mm -hmm. Blocking two. Okay, so that is two. Uh, so is. that is five damage to Hawkeye. Long is going next. Uh, going to be doing some healing. Healing onto Dormammu. Dormammu. Okay. Take way too damage. Yeah, that's right. And so that's cool. That's cool. Um, and then uh, that's one action. You do have another action as well yeah. on him. He is going to, to move. Just interact, I'm assuming. Interact. For, okay. For one. Yep. And then let's see if we get it. Roll your physical defense. Oh. Here we go with two, your physical so defense. This chance up from that guy. No. You don't get it. I don't get no, it. No, sir. Doing faithful assistant to give another power to Dormammu as well. Lead up phase of round three. I am scoring uh, three victory points going up to 11. Sean, you are scoring... Four victory points going up to 10, and we'll go in round four next. Here we go. Rogue's going to start off this round for me. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, charge action plus a uh, Southern Comfort. Uh, sorry, Southern Comfort. That's an alcoholic drink. Southern Hospitality into okay. Scarlet Witch. Uh, so the charge is going to just put me over here somewhere. Just like that. And then uh, I'll do my Southern Hospitality into Scarlet Witch. It is physical, okay? Physical, seven dice. Here we go. That's decent. That is decent. That's three crits in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, so that is eight going into you. Oh. I don't even think you can block it. You, uh, no, you're rolling too many dice, first off. Four. Uh, physical on to Scarlet Witch. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were going out no, to the No, 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 no. Scarlet Witch. Blocking one. And she's out. She is out. Well, after taking her Scarlet Witch, uh, let's do a six die absorption strike into Dormammu. Uh, six dice because I picked up the hammer from Scarlet Witch. So here we go, six dice. <laughs> That's uh, decent. That is currently uh, that is currently five going into you, and I will sap one of your powers as well. Blocking none. none. So that will be five damage on Dar Dormammu. Uh oh. Oh, uh, uh oh, is right. All right, so sitting on five power, we're gonna do mutant absorption now into Dormammu. You have three power left on you. I'm gonna after the game. I I haven't attacked you, but. Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. Basically. Well, not doing that because Sean's actually wanting to do his uh, his uh, push thing first. So you're down to one power left. Yep. I do have a tree now in range, though. Or oh. at least I thought it was. Never mind. All right. No, that is a rogue's go then. Hawkeye's going. Spending two power. What are you going to do with him? I'm jumping out. You did put the well, damage. He's going to first spend one point. Okay. To change your, yeah. Uh, before that I move off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go with your physical. You do get that one objective. Get that one. After getting that objective, then you're moving up to three. Yep. Over there. I'm going to be doing a couple of shots into uh, Mystique. Mystique. I like this. Well, let's see what you get. I get anything. Yeah. That's good, man. That's really good. He finally rolled something. He might more. do something. He does do something. That will probably take her out. That's going to take her out because uh, she only has five health. Uh, so she's gone. she be gone. Now going back and shooting into Deadpool here with your attack. Yep. Let's see what you get. Uh, two. And I'm blocking one. I'm blocking two, but you do, can give me a status condition. Slow. Yeah, it makes sense. Deadpool is going next. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come just over here with my short movement, just so I'm within three. Uh, I'm going to try to grab that objective here in a second, uh, but I'm going to shoot into Hawkeye with a bang. Here we go with my bang from Deadpool into Hawkeye before I interact with that objective. Uh, so I can reroll one of those. That's two. Uh, can't reroll as two failures. Uh, so go ahead, sir. So energy, physical, physical. Physical. This is physical. So four. Yeah. Blocking three. Blocking Do I get a three. wild for my bang bang? I don't. Okay. Uh, now I'm rolling physical to interact with that thing. Uh, I do get it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Wong's activation over here. Uh, he spent uh, 
two, one power to heal two damage to Dormammu, bringing him down to eight. Uh, and then uh, you're spending power now to interact with the trap that he is yep. also at. So let's see what you get there. You don't, don't get, get it. it. Don't get it. Two skull. The last character you activate is going to be Dormammu. What are you going to do with him? He's going to send his love to... To Rogue? To Rogue. I get it. I get it. Let's see what you get, sir. Send lots of love. Is this a uh, Hex Bolt? Yes, this is a Hex Bolt. Or the Shadow Bolt, sorry, Shadow Bolt. Hex Bolt. So yeah. it's, it's eight. Yep. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. Eight dice is a lot. So that is a lot. That's uh, right now six, seven. Rogue's Mystic Defense is three. Rogue says, energy. oh, it's Energy Defense, still three. She blocks two. So she goes down to four damage that she takes, right? One, two, three. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so she takes four points of damage. That's including the failure. Yeah. So Dormammu is sitting at power now, or two power. Are you going to do anything else with him? Uh, he's going to do another attack. Into, into Rogue? Into Rogue. Okay. Another Hex Bolt. Here we go. Another Hex Bolt. Let's see. Becomes eight dice. Dormammu with hammers is a beast. I rolled a wild last time, right? I don't recall. I think she's hex. Uh, well, that's uh, four. Oh, four yeah. two, two skulls there, so four. Can Rogue survive? Uh, maybe, because... Because uh, I did. Well, even then, she's only going to take one point of damage, so she still survives. Because of crit. She's not hexed because she was dazed, I don't think. Yeah, so she is hexed. Uh, don't get to re-roll. Um, or add another die from that crit. So mm -hmm. I had a blank, a hit and a uh, crit. So uh, you did four points of damage to her? Yep. Oh, four points of damage, yeah, that's right. Actually, you do take her at this turn uh, because she goes down to two. So yeah, she is out and she also drops a hammer, okay? Yep. And Not within range to pick up. Within range to pick that up. There we go, sounds good to me. Cleanup phase of round four, uh, here we go. Um, I'm scoring one, two, three, four, going up to 15. Sean, you are scoring two, three, three, going up to 13. And we're going to go into round five next. Beginning of round five, I got to see if I can take out Hawkeye here. Uh, let's do my bang action into yep. him, okay? Uh, he's sitting on three damage left. He's yep. sitting on three. So yeah. bang action says I do get three and I do get my bang bang next because uh, there is a hit in a wild and I do get I know karate as well. Block and one. Block and one. Yeah. Block and one. one. So let's see if I know karate succeeds here. Uh, it does not. Uh, so you take two points of damage. Two points of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do that bang action again. Here we go. Bang into Hawkeye. Well, it's not bang bang. Mm. Uh, I do have I know karate and there's two coming into you. So, and they're both wild. So if I roll a hit, I get another bang, bang, bang. Oh, blocking two. Blocking two. Just gotta survive. <laughs> oh, no, you, you do, you uh, do. That is okay. That's that is his something. First action, right? That is his first action. Yeah, so <laughs> this has a me surviving. This so is let's similar. do another bang here into Hawkeye. That's two, two, and I do have I know karate. You have I know karate. I'm nah, he's one. done. I'm done. Okay. And yeah, would have been a third one too. So that is Hawkeye gone. So that just allows me to sort of shore up this side of the board and at least score two victory points here. So Wong is going to do what? What are you going to do here, sir? Wong is going to basically. There's a chance. So Wong, he's going to activate. Yep. Why not? One hundred percent. He is going to spend one to power. interact with the thing. And let's with it. see if you get it this time. In case you don't. Oh, seriously, come no, on. Unfortunate. All right, his second action will be to move. move. Well, that's not even action. That was one action, or yeah. this is one action, yeah. I should say. One action. So you're gonna pick up the hammer for another one. He is and that is basically gonna be Wong done. That's gonna be Wong. Yeah, He's because be that's his last power. Last okay, so sounds good. good. And uh, I think, Sean, you just got it here because I think if you take out, uh, get either one of these, you automatically win, which the chances are with four physical defense, you will get one of them. Yeah. Uh, spend a power, yeah. Spend a power. 
I get yeah, you got it. So you, you will win this by uh, at least one victory point. So yeah, we'll come back with the after action report next. <laughs> just roll. You don't even need to move. Just roll. He'll sir. move. Magic. Just roll. Yeah, you would have got to do. Welcome, guys, to the after action report. You just saw the match between myself and Sean and his dark dimensions yeah. versus my brotherhood. Uh, Sean, what was your thoughts on the match, dude? I like Dormu, how much damage he can oh, put out. Well, Especially with the hammers. With the he hammers. He do a lot of damage. The, the hammers is so good for him when it when it turns into that. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a lucky draw with Dormammu. Um, 18 threat automatically because both cards were 18 threat. Super good for him because he can actually get some people in with yeah. him that uh, do effective. I wasn't expecting work. you playing that card. Cause I Deception. Did Deception and basically having him walk a yeah. full movement towards me. Yeah. Like, yeah. To yours, you is like. Ah crap! That I was means he's gonna be knocked out. There's I was, nothing I could do. Stop it! I was really hoping to capitalize on that. You know what I mean? And and, and continue to push that momentum forward mm -hmm. uh, with a juggernaut and with Rogue and everything else. Um, but I did not. Um, mm -hmm. I almost wonder if I should have put maybe Rogue on the building instead of hiding behind the building. Uh, mm. to play her up a little bit more so that way uh, she didn't have to waste two actions. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, but I hit her behind the buildings thinking that, you know, oh, that way you can't shoot her and stuff like that with yeah. Dormammu, right? Dormammu. So where I probably should have, like I said, been a little bit more assertive with her. Um, interesting, I, I, mechanics for Mystique's uh, leadership, only half of it procced in this scenario. Mm. Um, I was hoping for a different draw, but I wanted to try Mystique thematically with Rogue uh, and some other Brotherhood yeah. characters in there. And so I was like, well, Juggernaut's awesome. He's new, so I'm going to try him out again. Yeah. Rogue's awesome, and uh, her and Mystique. It might have been interesting maybe if I threw Gambit into this list, mm. um, because, I, like, hasn't Mystique and Gambit, like, had a fling? I can't remember. I'd have to double-check. I thought there was something um, going yeah, on. Yeah, they always have a fling. Mystique? Not uh, Rogue, Mystique. Oh, Mystique. Mystique. So, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so no, it was uh, would have ended off being a 1917 match uh, at the end of round five of the cleanup phase. Uh, there was just with all the characters being taken out that you took out, which is completely what I expected when you had mm. two heavy, 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 heavy hitters being Scarlet Witch and uh, Dormammu. Um, I expected that to happen. What I should yeah. have maybe done is maybe ran away once I had some of the points on like, you Run know, away. Quicksilver or, or something like that. Just keep you at a dodge basically, right? Mm. Maybe that's what I should have done. Uh, just try to force you to come at me because then Scarlet Witch is having a hard time She's sacrificing yeah. actions to go after somebody. Yeah. Dormammu is using power to teleport up. Yeah. Um, so well, even just with thought. his thing every time i sent you flying back you still had actions you still had abilities to hurt him yeah yeah but that's not what i was talking about i mean with the objectives like with quicksilver he had a mm -hmm. hammer at one point maybe i should have ran away with him ran you away know what i mean it. uh because he can move long right yeah. so like maybe i just play uh the long you try to just, attack yeah so that's yeah. just a thought uh so what, probably misplayed there a little bit uh, what really probably damaged you is the moment i got that attack off what one you got lots of attacks off, so uh, I don't the know. The moment I got that big attack, I only did once this game. Oh, uh, dark, uh, um, incantation of obliteration. Obliteration. Yeah, so his... yeah, because you, you, you basically took out Juggernaut, did yeah. seven damage to him, and yeah. then you took out Quicksilver too. Quicksilver. So that, that did hurt. And it proxied again, but because the model was taken yeah, off yeah, board, yeah. it could not proxy. Because you can't measure from something that's not yeah. there, right? So It didn't take out Juggernaut, it took out Rogue. Took it, no, no, it no. took out Quicksilver. It took out Quicksilver. And, and, and Juggernaut had seven damage from the first one, yeah. and you were going to bounce back into him again. Yeah, and so, taking him out. But yeah, yeah, so oh, well. uh, if Quicksilver was alive, the idea was to bounce Mystique up there with... Um, what the heck is it called? Uh, Asteroid M, and mm -hmm. then just do like six dice rapid fire shots into Dormammu all day. Yeah. But the fact that you took him out, I was just like, ah. Oh. Then I was like, who do I activate? Do I activate... Uh, Mystique and take out Dormammu or do I t take out use Juggernaut and try to take out somebody else mm. you know what I mean so um, and he did a ton of damage to Dormammu but I'm almost wondering if I may have should have done Mystique maybe actually no Mystique had a hammer I think at that point in time so either way yeah. uh, it is what mm. it is so no she didn't yeah have she had a hammer because then you turned around next turn and dazed her dazed with her. Scarlet Witch and then she or dropped whatever it. yeah yeah. So, either way, Sean, thank you very much for coming out again, again, and getting yeah. this game in. Guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, check out Torchlight Games and Hobbies in the description of the video down below. Also, you can check out the Patreon page if you like content that I am producing here on the channel, and you can support the channel through our link there. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, ignite your hobby.